All right, you guys. Did you really come back with two separate checks? Yeah, that's what I was asked to do. You're really going to make me pay? You going to get some ass? No. But <laughs> anyways, man, here go to two. She's not going to give me what? No ass. That's, that's crazy. That's man. Something. Wait. <laughs> Are you? I'm going to pay the 15. At least they're a short kneecap. Fuck you. See, that's your problem. You don't want to. That's your problem. Here. He's really making me pay, you guys. Hey, how you get home? You're fucking taking me home. You're taking me home. You got gas? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give that to uh, the ride? No. You're taking me home. I think you beat up the food. All right, you guys. He's not making me. Um, he's making me pay for my food because I won't have sex with him. That's a sad shame. Look at this man. Don't ever go out with him. Don't give him your number. Just fucking run. Y'all hoes is <laughs> Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise, and World Star just gives, gives, and gives, okay? Let's take it from the top. This woman is wants to try to put this man on blast because he's making her pay because she won't have sex with him, right? She didn't even, she specifically went out with this man just because she wanted to eat. She specifically, I know that. You know why? Look look at this damn man. Look at the food. What, they got burgers and fries? But look at him from here. You see this shirt? This look like a shirt he slept in and then he came out. It's a freaking Bugs Bunny shirt. Like, I'm not here to clown him, but seriously, he didn't take you seriously either. Neither one of these people took each other seriously. Because let me tell you something. If... I was going to go out on a date with somebody and they thought they was going to show up looking like this. I would not be going. So if to me, that's telling me that this woman has no standards and, or she just wanted to get something to eat. And honestly, where are we eating at? Applebee's or Chili's? Look at this seat. Look at this seat. No, I, you couldn't take me here. Mm -mm, ain't no way. This is a cheap plastic ass stupid seat. You getting burgers and fries. He already knew. Ain't no way that he didn't know coming out looking like this. Come on now, ma'am. And you went. You, he showed up at the door and you went. Girl, I'd have slammed the daggone door. Ain't no way. Is this how desperate you biatches are? That you're going to just go and go for anything just to get a free meal? That meal didn't cost more than 14 damn 90. Look at him. <clears throat> Look at this scraggly beard. Look at this beard. Who's going out with this person? Notice she didn't show us who she is, though. But th look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So many red flags here. The man don't even have a damn haircut. He look like, look. Look at his hair. He look like he ain't had a daggone haircut in three or four months. He looked like he should be standing on the side of the road holding a sign saying, we'll work for food, even though you know he's not going to do no work. Just want some money, really. Look at this place. This is not even Panera. This is a, you, I could never, I could never eat here, okay? But she went. She knew where she was going. She had the man pick her up. And then once it was all done with the eating, and he asked a question and you was like, nah, pay for your own damn food. Not because I'm saying that women should go out expecting to have sex with men. I'm not saying that at all. But you making this big commotion for what? You making, you recording this to put on the internet for what? Clout, clout, clicks, views, likes, hearts, followers. Because ma'am, you look like a fool. You allowed a man that looked like this to take you out somewhere to a cheap ass place anyway. So you could get burgers and fries. How desperate are you? I'm inclined to believe that you actually did do this just to get something to eat. This don't make the God sense. And then if this man did do that and you saw the dude come back with the two checks, right? And then this man goes, um, how you getting home? You going to argue with him to take you home? Girl, if you don't call an Uber or a Lyft and get your ass home by yourself, call your girl, call your mama, call your daddy. 
If the man sat here and did this, you still think that you're going to try to tell him what he going to do? Why would you even want to be in his vicinity regardless of needing a ride? Because if you only went to Applebee's or Chili, you're not that far from home any daggone way. Girl, it's not like you went to some um, five-star restaurant where it may be way out of the way and it took you like 45 minutes to an hour to get there. You went to Applebee's or Chili's. You're close to home. So call your damn Uber. But you still think that you're going to try to tell this man what to do after the man said, I'm, you got to pay and we not having sex. You should be saying nothing else to him. You should have dropped your money down at the table. You should have been dialing your daggone Uber while the dude was coming back with the check and then go wait out front for it to be there. But y'all don't know how to leave situations. That's part of the problem, ladies. You need to learn how, ugh, need to know when it's time to leave a situation. There's no point in talking to this person. Actually, you should have never went out, first of all. Should have never, don't go out with people that look like this, okay? Don't. Make sure you have a credit card or some daggone money to cover your own if, if you need to. At least if this person showed up decently, that's fine. But then you're going to go to daggone Applebee's, which I ain't got a problem with Applebee's. It's just not for me. And then if he says, oh, you're going to have to pay your own, just be like, all right, cool. And just do it. And then you don't have anything to do with him thereafter. And there's no need for all this foolishness. There's no need for all this recording. There's no need to try to call him out. There's no need to call him names. There's no need to do all that extra stuff. You went with a man that looked like this. You look like a fool to Applebee's, ma'am, for burgers. If you can't afford to take yourself to Applebee's um, to get a burger, then he is the least of your daggone problems. And if you are that desperate to get someone to pay for your meal, again, he is the least of your problems. She looks like the fool in this situation to me. Oh, the title does say Applebee's. So I was right. You think you're putting him on blast? You're not, ma'am. Because it's your name down here on the TikTok. So I'm sure somebody is coming somewhere to clown you. I don't have time to look you up, but you look like the real fool. You look like, honestly, the real fool here. This is ridiculous. How desperate are, L listen, ladies, it's either you miss independent or you're not like it can't be both ways. Whenever the wind blows a certain way and you feel like whatever one you want, if you really all these bosses and you the smartest and you the greatest and you make all this money, this, that, and the third, take yourself out to eat, date yourself like that other woman did. Or if you go out on a date with someone, make sure that he's looking like something. He got something to offer. He looking like he got something to offer at least. Look like he's going to take you someplace decent. And then if you don't think that that's somebody that you're interested in, stop trying to get meals from people. And if it, at least if you're trying to get a meal, it's going to have to be more than Applebee's. You're not impressing anyone. You look like a fool, a plum damn fool. So if you should happen to see this video, I said it. I meant it. You got to do better. You're not even good at your own daggone game, ma'am. I fault you. You look like the jackass here. I'm going to need you to go ahead and get a job, boss up, do whatever the heck it is that you do, and go ahead and take yourself out to at least Panera or something. Because this is not a good look. City Girl's down 5000 But whatever. Keep playing these stupid games. Keep winning these stupid prizes. And now you're sitting around here looking like a dummy on TikTok. But have at it, do you. But if anyone else that's out here dating is trying to listen... Don't do this. Don't be this woman. If something don't end up being like it's supposed to be, always be ready to pay for your own and always be ready to get your Uber, your Lyft, or call whoever it is that can come and get you. Don't be carrying on with nobody who already is saying that they not going to do something. Because God forbid you go home with them and then they feel some kind of way. Stop allowing people that you don't know to know where you live. Stop this immediately. Start meeting people at places. Get your Uber there. Pay for something. If you don't pay for it now, you're going to pay for it later. Would you rather pay with money or pay with something different? You know what I'm saying. I'm going to leave it at that. That's it. That's all. As always, I want to hear what you all have to say. Please, everyone, be respectful. For those, we're down to 49% of people who are or who are watching but not following. I need you all to subscribe to the channel. I need everyone to subscribe to the backup, subscribe to Instagram, consider becoming a channel member. I will see you all in the next one.